Oh man, this is why I'm always on the lookout for a beach shade that can take on some wind. Because if you have kids and you tell them to sit inside that, they're gonna take off on you down the beach looking for a new parent. But I have found that there aren't many portable beach shades out there that are easy to set up and can hold up well against 20 plus mile per hour winds. That's why I'm reviewing this Sobello shade and the Shibumi shade's little brother, the Shibumi Mini. Because they actually need wind to perform correctly. But you can still use one of these beach shades without wind. Hello, my fellow beach gear head friend. It's me, your devoted beach gear reviewer, Maddie C. Now I first used the Sabello shade on a calmer day just so I could figure out how to set it up. Actually, setting up the base of the pole of the Sabello is similar to setting up a beach umbrella with a permanent ugger. I like how this big ugger digs right into the sand. When I unrolled the sail and extended the arms by sliding the runner up the pole until it locked, I quickly realized that this is no beach umbrella. Now setting up the Shibumi shade is like setting up its older brother, which I've done many times in the past. First you want to connect the pole segments and then slide the pole through the sleeve. Now like a buffoon, I forgot to shoot close-ups of me setting up the Shibumi Mini. But if you're looking for more details, watch my Shibumi Shade Setup and Review video and I'll include a link to that video in the description down below so you can check it out later. It sure would make me feel better for being a numbskull if you hit that like button and shared this video with one of your beach buddies. As you can see, both of these beach shades have free-flowing sails, but they function so differently. Now here's the Sobello Shade, blowing with the wind and doing its thing, but look at what happens when I reposition the arms so it's not blowing directly into the wind anymore. Like a weather vane, the Sobello shade self-adjusts to move with the breeze, which is pretty darn cool. But how well is this gonna work in 20 plus mile per hour winds? Is the Ugger gonna do its job and keep the Sobello from blowing over? Well, at first, I didn't think this would be much of a wind test because the breeze died down right when I set it up. But thankfully, after I did set it up, the wind came back to life. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now we got us a wind test. To be honest, the Sobello shade is more rugged and sturdy than I thought it would be when I was checking it out online. All of the plastic components, the parts, the aluminum pole, the frame, the fabric, it all held up to the abuse. I didn't even need to angle the pole into the wind. The Sobello shade stayed up the whole entire time. But what happens when the top pole with the shade gets loose? Well, absolutely nothing. So you won't need to chase it down the beach as you would an out of control beach umbrella, which is dangerous and not much fun. Oh, by the way, I shot this video on a late November afternoon in Cape Cod Bay, which is why the shade is a mile down the beach. Now the Shibumi Mini, like its older brother, the original Shibumi, has a simpler design and doesn't self-adjust like the Sobello. So if the wind changes directions, you'll have to readjust your Shibumi. This is not a big deal if it happens once or twice during the day, but it can get annoying if the wind gods can't agree from which direction they want to blow. Now I haven't had a chance to test my Shibumi Mini in 20 plus mile per hour winds yet, but I did wind test my original Shibumi shade and boy, just you wait and see how I abuse my poor Shibumi. I gotta tell ya, I was pretty bummed out when I got laid off from my TV job, but these days, I couldn't be happier making these review videos for you and having you watch them. I think it's fantastic. So thank you so much for hanging out with me and being a part of my life at the beach. Now, the Shibumi company doesn't recommend using their shade in winds greater than 20 plus miles per hour, which makes sense to me after putting it through this test. It got hammered by Mother Nature big time, but it survived and and I'm still using it at the beach to this day. Now, these are two wind-hungry beach shades that thrive on a breezy day. But what happens if there's no wind, not even a breeze? Well, both of these beach shades don't do so hot if the breeze dips below three miles per hour. If the wind dies, you're out of luck if you're sitting under the Shibumi. But the Sobello shade has what they call a non-wind kit, consisting of two twisty stakes and two bungee cords that attach to the two eyelets on the trailing edge of the sail. Now, sitting under the Sobello shade in non-wind mode, 
is okay. But if I have to shade myself and another person on a still day, I'll most likely grab a beach umbrella. The original Shibumi shade is 17 feet by 9 feet, and the Shibumi Mini is roughly 9.5 feet by 7.5 feet, which is a good size for two people. The Sobello shade is 8 feet by 8 feet and 6 feet high. From this vantage point, it looks like you get a bit more shade under the Shibumi Mini. But how much sun protection are you gonna get? The Shibumi shade is made of a lightweight polyester, which according to the website, provides UPF 30 plus sun protection. Now the Sabello shade has a bit more going on. The gray part that velcros right here to the frame is made of a strong polyoxford fabric. And the blue part of the sail is this ripstop polyester, which according to Sobello, provides UPF 50 plus sun protection. What I'm getting at here is that you'll get a bit more sun protection under the Sobello shade. But as you can tell by just looking at me, I take other sun shielding precautions just to be safe. What are your thoughts about these two beach shades so far? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to know what you think. In most cases, I'm going to go with a Sobello shade because I really like how it self-adjusts with the wind. But I'm going to take the Shibumi Mini if I'm going to go on a trip and I have to pack my beach shade in luggage. Now I'm going to address the biggest complaint that I get from family, friends, people walking their dogs by on the beach, and no, it's not that I wear the same hat all the time, it's that these beach shades make a flapping sound. It is like sitting under a flag. Some people, like myself, don't mind it and find it kind of relaxing but others think the sound is annoying. I guess it's kind of like listening to jam bands like the band Fish. You either love the sound or you hate it. I happen to dig the band Fish. Now watch this video as I compare my original Shibumi shade with my favorite beach canopy, which is a bit quieter. See you there.